Hey guys, welcome back to Kaiser Test RC. And look what we have here today. We have the Eashin Novice 2 2.5 inch toothpick drone. So it comes in this great box right here. It's a hard case. Starting off, we'll start off with uh, let's start off with the batteries. So you get these batteries. They're 460 milliwatt hour high voltage batteries. They charge up to 4.3 volts. There's two separate kits you can get. Uh, let me just take a look at the prices. $229 with two 1S batteries. That'll only get you one flight unless you fly fly at 1S, which you can as well. But if you want some power, you want to go 2S. Um, the Fly More Combo, $249 with 10 batteries, and that gets you five flights on 2S. So these are nice batteries. It comes with a charger right here, and this is an amazing little charger. It charges these 1S batteries really, really well and quickly. There's little toggle switches in here, so you can charge it slower, or you can charge it at a higher amperage and uh, you can charge it to 4.2 volts if you have the toggle switch this way or you can have it on 4.35 volts if you have the toggle switch on the other direction and you can put yourself one two three four five six batteries and charge them all up at the same time which is great and again it's got the little yashin logo right there let's go to the uh transmitter actually let's go look at the quad first since i got it out and it sits really nicely right in there under the controller just like so everything's perfectly fit so you can take it on the go this is one of my favorite controllers for cheap i still use it um, so there's the quad guys uh, let's take a look at the specs here quickly. So, this quad is ready to fly. Comes with the FlySky i6 radio. It's got a 120 millimeter wheelbase. So, from prop to prop, 2.5 inch uh, toothpick. And it has a 200 milliwatt VTX, which is situated right here on top. The VTX has smart audio. I'm reading off my sheet there. You can change bands, you can change um, channels, and you can change power settings all through your goggles, which is great. I mean, most quads do that now. Um, that's pretty much a standard thing. There is an onboard buzzer here, which is great because when this thing goes down in the grass, they are pretty hard to see. Um, once it gets into the grass so I have the beeper set up on my toggle switch over here just flip it on if I can't find it and listen very carefully and you should be able to find it if it's uh, within a, you know not too far of a distance so on the bottom we have the uh, all-in-one flight controller and um, ESC's you have your uh, USB to hook it up to the computer right there it comes with a SPI receiver, so it's built right into the board and can be flown 1 or 2S and uh, comes with the FlySky built in so you can use this radio. The camera is a Caddx Turbo EOS V2 and for a cheaper camera, this is quite a decent camera. I find it to be a little bit better than the uh, Emacs um, Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2 camera. Colors are a little bit more true, true to real life. Small toothpicks, they're great for whipping around in a park. They don't disturb a lot of people, they're quiet. But uh, don't let that fool you. They are very, very fast. You'll see in the, in the video coming up. Um, but anyways, I don't wanna make this too long. I just wanna show you, uh, it's got 1103, uh, 8,500 kV motors. And this is the same size motor that comes in the uh, Emacs um, Freestyle 2. It does actually have um, LEDs right there. I will show you, I'll just give it a little plug in quick, just to show you the uh, cool LEDs. 
That is something that the, see that? That's something that the uh, Emacs doesn't have. Yeah, it's a great quad, guys. Let me just uh, put the battery back in here. It does come with the antenna facing, I think it comes out the bottom, yeah. You can still see the original um, antenna right here for the, uh, the, the onboard receiver for the fly sky but what i did was i wanted some longer range i mean it's not too bad with that but um if you want to you can actually add your own receiver and i added my own receiver right there it's a fly sky and i just put a, a twist tie and some heat shrink tubing to put the antenna up like that and i will show you in another video but i basically i just soldered it where did i solder it I soldered it in here, positive and negative, and then I put the signal wire to a free uh, UART port. I will try and show that in another video, but anyways, great little quad. Put that back in. Nice little starter package, guys. And this quad is not a quad you're gonna outgrow. You're gonna be able to keep flying that thing and enjoy it. I still enjoy it to this day. And same thing with this radio. Um, I think this radio is actually better than the Emacs Freestyle 2 radio that comes in the package. It's a full-fledged radio. It's not like you're getting a little game controller radio, which they're good too. But um, this has all the uh, features. You can go in, select your models. See, I've got all my models in here. I got quite a few and I still fly them all. Yeah, got a lot in here. <laughs> you can adjust your endpoints. Um, you got your, your trims here. It shows where your trims are, where your sticks are sitting. See, there's my uh, channel three is my throttle. And uh, got my switches right on this channel. That's my arm switch. I have this switch set up for angle mode, uh, full acro right there. And then I just use the top one as a uh, beeper. It's a three, three position. There's, these are two position. This is two position, this is three position. And then you have some uh, mixer channels here, which you probably won't use for a drone. But uh, yeah, great radio guys. Been using it for quite a while. Nothing has loosened up, gotten sloppy on me, and like uh, I have heard that uh, some of the cheaper radios, the gimbals start to feel sloppy and uh, you almost can't even fly it, but this one's working great. So that fits right in there. Then you have your uh, VR009 goggles. Let me just fire a battery in here so you guys can see. And I'll see if I can Put the camera right in the goggles. Let's put this in. We'll get the camera up and we'll put the uh, quad up like so. Turn the goggles on. And I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it. And there we go. That's not bad. Here, let's just take this and uh, angle it up. You can see around there. That's what the goggles look like. Pretty good. There is only one issue that I can find with these goggles. Um, they are pretty good. Let me just turn this off here so I don't burn out my VTX. You don't want to leave your battery connected too long. Otherwise your um, video transmitter will overheat guys. So they are good goggles. There's only one thing that I found uh, not good. Um, and I think it's more specific because my vision is not perfect, but let's just turn those off. You can see that they're pretty short. So when you put, put them on, your eyes are here, the, the screen is here, and 
it's kind of close. If you put your hand right up to your face or close to your face, and if your, your eyes can't focus up close, then there is a little bit of eye strain. But by all means, they are usable. Um, my son, who's got perfect eyes, he wears them and he says he can see them perfectly. So, and they actually fit on my face decently. They're not really uncomfortable. So um, what I use them for is I let him use them or I use them as little bench goggles. But uh, you can definitely fly with these goggles, guys. Definitely. It also does come with a little screwdriver, a spare set of props, and prop nuts. And there's a, also a prop removal tool. So that's nice. It also comes with some instructions. This here basically tells you everything you need to know on this sheet. Tells you everything about the uh, control. Tells you, you can even program the light, uh, LED strips in beta flight. Uh, tells you how to hook it up, everything. But it's basically ready to go. You don't even need to hook it up to your computer. Um, but you definitely want to get familiar with beta flight. This is your VTX table, so your video transmitter table. And this is what one of the screens in Betaflight looks like. Tells you the uh, orientation of the props, which way they're supposed to go. And there's some information about your goggles and uh, all your channels. So it's a great kit for beginners, guys. You're gonna like this one if you're just starting off. You're going to want to get yourself into a big open area though. So let's get out to the field. Take it for a little flight. And uh, you can see how quick this little baby is. Nice little kit. Alright guys. So there you go. Yashin Novice 2. Let's get out to the field and uh, take her for a rip. Alright guys. See you out there. All right, guys, we are ready to go. Take it for a little rip, see how she goes. We are recording. And we're off. I think that's slightly better reception than I was getting before. It's come over top of us here. And up we go over the trees, Oops. and back down. So yeah, this is a pretty good quad for the money, guys. Uh, the reception of the stock um, receiver isn't great, I have to say. But it can be remedied, it can be remedied quite, quite easily. You have to be decent at soldering though, so I would recommend practicing a little bit. Let's go up and do a little flip. Let's come through the trees. Thanks to my cameraman. Let's come over. And down. Let's do a power loop. Ooh. Almost hit the ground there, guys. Let's try another one. That wasn't bad. I haven't flown in a bit, so a little bit rusty. Which is a pretty good quad, guys. Um, between this and the uh, Emacs... Um, Freestyle 2. I'd say it's a toss-up. The Freestyle 2 is a little bit more popular. Getting a lot of break up here. I'm not sure why. But uh, let's keep it in close here. May not have my power level adjusted up. 
come through here. Let's go through the trees. Try not to crash. There's my cameraman, guys. Do a little punch out here and then I'm gonna have to land. I'm almost done. That's gonna kill my battery. One, two, three. Look up, cameraman. Just a little one. <laughs> and a little gasp from him. Let's bring it back around. I hear somebody walking close to me. I'm gonna have to watch them. Let's bring it back in for a landing. And then we'll slap another battery in there. We'll go for another boot. It's a nice handling little quad. Whoop. Ooh, that was a bit of a harsh landing. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so that's it for the uh, Iashim Novice 2. This is a great little drone. I just want to say the camera on this is much better than the Emax uh, Tiny Hawk 2. And uh, they're both pretty comparable. If you're going to buy a kit, I think I would say for the radio, I would go for this kit because this radio is much better than the, uh, than the uh, Tiny Hawk 2 Emax radio that you get. And I will have a video later showing how I installed this um, receiver to get better range. All right guys, thanks for watching. I will leave a link in the description. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Kaiser Test RC. Take care guys.